Oh my gosh, is that YouTube? Is that Tatiana Michelle? Yes, it is. And I'm back. What's up you guys, it's Tatiana back with another YouTube video. If you're new here, subscribe. If you're not new here, welcome back. I'm gonna keep it short and cute. As y'all can see by the title, we're doing a story time. I haven't done a story time in a long time. Just to give y'all something, why not? Um, yeah, so as y'all can tell by the title, it's one of them type of videos. Yes, it is. This happened like three years ago. I was 21. So how old am I? I'm 23 now, so I'm about to be 24. So technically three, two, three years ago, okay? So your girl's over it. I'm cool, but at the end of the day, it's my life my story it happened to me so i'm gonna tell it who's gonna do something about it oh okay anyways yeah so let's just keep this short and sweet you feel what i'm saying because yeah <laughs> like i swear my life is a movie bro but anyways i digress so the two protagonists in this video or in this story we're gonna call them xavier and christina i don't know look first two names that came to mind. Um, I'm not gonna get too in detail because the people in my life, I don't need nobody that knows me personally to try to dig up and try to find out who I'm talking about. It's not that deep. Your girl's fine, she moved on. At the end of the day, I'm still just gonna tell the story because it's a juicy ass story. What? Anyways, so I was dating um, Xavier and he was a cheating ass For real, for real. Keep it a buck, he was, still is forever will be but <laughs> okay let me stop but yeah so i was dating him and um i just y'all this happened a while ago so please be, bear with me i'm trying to i didn't write down no notes i'm just off the dome okay i just remember one day we had went to the gun range because that's something we like to do we like you know we like to go out and do things and stuff like that so we was at the gun range one day he's a social media like he likes taking pictures he likes taking videos you know, nothing wrong with that so um, he had gave me his phone to record him shooting, shooting the gun. I don't care if you know, you know. I'm not the only. I can't be the only one to do. <laughs> These birds was mad close to my window. I thought they was finna smack and hit my. <laughs> okay, I don't care what nobody say. I'm not the only female that does this. I don't care what nobody say. Any moment, any chance I get, I'm taking that phone and I'm looking through it. I don't care. So if you're giving me your phone to take a picture of you, record you, whatever. I'm, that's my chance, what? Unlocked and everything? So he gave me the phone and it was on Snapchat. So I didn't really go through it for real, but I just swiped over and just seen like who he was texting. And this one particular name stood out to me, Christina's name. I wasn't really paying attention to nothing else, but you're, you're, you have a gut feeling. Everybody has a gut feeling. You're just gonna know. Your gut, every, we gut feeling, okay? Let me just keep it at that. So I peeped her name. And I made sure I kept it in the back of my head. I'm like, cool. They didn't say nothing because it's like, I didn't really peep nothing. I didn't open up the message to see what was being said. So what can I really do for real? You feel what I'm saying? So fast forward days later, probably comes to find out me and this girl, we have each other on Snapchat. We have each other on, I don't know if we had each other on Instagram, but we had each other on Snapchat. So I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not watching her, but I'm watching. You feel what I'm saying? Like just as if I'm watching someone else's story. I'm watching, but I remember your name in my phone, period. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I just remember one day he had told me, Xavier had told me that he's going out with his boys. You know, he's going to be out. Mind you, me and Xavier, we spend time together all the time. Like all every single day, all the time, 24 seven. Like we was like this, okay? Like you could not get us away from each other. But I mean, of course he's gonna have his friends, I'm gonna have my friends. So we're not, I'm not saying that we never spent time apart, but we was always together. One day he told me he's gonna hang out with the guys, cool, ain't no problem. But I still expect you to text me when I text you. Okay, respond to me. So I just remember texting him throughout the day. He's taking his tweet at time to respond, like taking forever, five ever, might I add. Okay, so I just remember him getting like feisty with me. Mind you, um, I used to work, morning shift so i'm leaving at like crack of dawn coming back at 6 p.m so i would be out all morning for real so i really didn't know what he was doing when i was at work i just remember texting him he was getting a little feisty when we talk about did i tell you i was out the guys or some shit like that like just being rude for no reason like i know that but you still have your phone on you you can still respond if i'm texting you not saying i'm texting him all freaking day the whole entire time he's there but if I'm texting you here and there, I expect a response. Like, what? 
Anyways, mind you, he had his hair braided. I just gotta tell y'all that because it's essential to the story. Okay, so I forgot to add in the story because I was going too freaking fast. Basically, um, come to find out, he supposedly was with the girl that day that he was supposed to be with his friends for real. And he told me that he was literally just there to get his hair unbraided. So she was taking out his braids. Like, are you dumb? I'm your girl. I can do that, but whatever. He had his hair braided and I'm the one that found somebody for him to get his hair braided. So you would think, anyways, I'm getting too ahead of myself. He had came back so-and-so. Um, I just remember he sent it, he sent me a picture. So I guess one of the guys took a picture of him. Cause he, like I said, he likes taking pictures. He likes taking videos and stuff like that. Something about me, I'm a CIA agent for real, for real. I mean, I could really work for them. Like y'all hit me up because I be finding out stuff. I don't know how it just, it, <laughs> it just, I'm just that girl. So he has sent me a picture, but the background is just not, it's not familiar. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's just, I don't know. It's just, he is sneaky do so it's like anything he send me or if i peep something i'm gonna really look into it because i just don't trust dude don't ask me why i said in relationship we all done it we all been in it before we all been done for it don't this is not what this story is about okay i just remember looking at the background like this is mm, i don't where you at you feel what i'm saying and it's like i know where the guys he was hanging out with i know where they live so i know what the background supposed to be looking like so it just I don't know, it just, it just something that stuck out to me. Don't ask me why, God, okay? Because why else am I paying attention to the background? Like, what, I'm supposed to be paying attention to you. Like, you're in the picture, but I'm worried about the background. The background just not looking like something I'm familiar with. Like, I know my area, you know? I know my city, so it's like, that don't look right. You know, days later, whatever, I don't know how many days. I, this has been a long time, y'all, just bear with me. I just remember Shawty, Christina posting on Snapchat and mind you, the background of Xavier's picture is very similar to Christina's picture. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it was an apartment building behind him. And that same apartment building is the same that she's posting. So I'm like, wait, I'm putting one and two together, I'm getting three. Okay, so the math is mathing. So I'm like, oh, mm. So I don't really say anything, because it's like, what can I really say for real? But I'm peeping it. You feel what I'm saying? You know when you peep stuff, but you just wait until you just get more evidence for you to come out to say something. So that's me right now. So I'm like, oh, okay, bet. And I don't know how, y'all, I don't know how, I ended up finding out what school Christina goes to. Ends up finding out she's young as hell. Mind you, I'm 21, he's a year older than me, so he's 22, Shawty is 16. Or probably 15 at the time. If I really, I could have really called the cops on the nigga. Cause I was like, uh, just look back at it now. Like I should have really called the cops on you cause you're dirty as hell. Y'all both dirty, they're both weird. Anyways, if y'all see this, y'all see this. I don't know what y'all gonna do. Mm. Days later, I ended up probably, I think I, I ended up confessing. Cause that same picture he had sent to me, Xavier sent to me, you know how when you have your location permissions on, on um, the camera roll or gallery, when you take a picture, it's gonna show the location. So when he sent me that picture, clearly I seen the location, I seen he wasn't in our city, he was two hours out. Okay, let me add you, this man was driving two hours out to see this girl, this little ass girl. Anyways. <clears throat> I'm getting too ahead of myself, y'all. I'm getting too excited. I ended up confronting him about it like, what's tea? And clearly, lies like he always did, like he always do, like he will forever do. So he ended up lying about it, pushed it to the side, whatever. So much stuff just kept adding on to me being right. Like, I'm not crazy, bro. Like, I might be crazy in that moment, but that's how it would really make you feel. I Will really make you feel like you're crazy and you're really not like you're really making sense for real like now i'm stalking the girl i don't give a fuck. like i gotta get i gotta get my information somehow she would post tweets about me calling me all types of stupid i'm dumb as hell i'm shaped weird like talk about body shaming me let's keep it let's keep it for real um mind you this girl is young as hell i'm grown as she's a minor you know if i was gonna fight the i was gonna get my sister to do it for real, for real, I ain't going to jail for no hug. Hey, let me keep, okay, let me calm down. I'm over it. <laughs> but it's like, this really made this little girl, like she had one up on me or something. You feel what I'm saying? Mind you, the knew about me the whole entire time. I was peeping her tweets, 
I was peeping her TikTok. She was posting, she was posting this man. Not his face, but I know my shit. Like I was with him for a minute. I know my shit's hand. I know his arm. I know all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I don't care. Call me crazy. She was posting their text messages. And it's like, you know, certain TikTok trends. You know, like I know how my text. Okay? So you, you're not hiding shit from me. But yeah, so I was people all that. Clearly, she was watching me too. She was watching my TikTok. She was watching my Snapchats, all that. Um, it came a time where we weren't like following each other on Snapchat anymore. I think it's because I made a whole new Snapchat. I was just gathering all my information, all my stuff together so I could just come out and be like, hey, I know what you're doing. Even though there was multiple times where I kept telling him like, I know you and Christina are messing around or are you talking to her? You always, oh, go ask her, go ask her. There was even a time where he told me that he sees her like a sister. Mind you, Christina is a close friend of one of his family members that I'm not really gonna put out there because y'all gonna, somebody gonna find this video and somebody gonna know who exactly I'm talking about. And if y'all do, kiss my ass because I really do not care. At the end of the day, this happened to me. Y'all put me through this shit, so I'm gonna tell it. And I'm not dropping no names. So I mean, if y'all come out and say some shit, then everybody gonna know this is about you. You know what I'm saying? So let's all just keep peace and shut the fuck up. <laughs> so he'll always try to nick pit me or gaslight me, tell me, oh, she's like a sister to me. Nah, like you, stuff like that. So, but at the end of the day, I always have been back in my mind, like, no, bro, like you don't see the shit she's posting. Like, I see this shit. Like, she's, you know what I'm saying? Like, we not dumb. And there will be times where I'm talking my shit on fucking Twitter and she's responding to me. But make it like we're we're just going back and forth indirectly, but we know we're both talking about. It is, there was even a time where I blocked the f she blocked me too. And we still know what the f we're both tweeting. Like I was still looking at her sh Like there was a time where on Twitter, I don't know if it's still like that where you block somebody on Twitter, but you can still view their tweets, which is weird. So clearly we both block each other, but we still peeping our each other's stuff. It's just, bro, I don't know, like. I was really beefing with a minor, bro. Anyways, never again in my life where I do some shit like that. I don't know if that was before or after I confronted the bitch, but <laughs> um, I just remember I had, I said, F it, like, it's too much evidence. I know you messing with my man. So I had um, texted her on Instagram one day. I was like, hey, so are you and Xavier messing around? She gonna tell me, um, no, why you asked that bitch? That's that, there go my answer. You could have just said no. You feel what I'm saying? She was like, oh no, we just cool though, some shit like that. And then I left it alone and I think I asked her again another time and she was like, oh, go ask him. Bitch, clearly I did and he's fucking lying, so I'm asking you. And I already know the answer. I just need somebody to confirm this shit. I need you to confirm her so I can go to his ass and be like, here. You feel what I'm saying? So she was the type of bitch that would lie for an knowing that she's cheating on. You and me, like what? Clearly they were together for a whole fucking year, almost a year, it's crazy, right? Mind you, and mind you, this girl lived two hours away, so this nigga was driving two hours away to see this bitch, okay? This nigga was using her for money, clearly, or something, cause she was telling me how, oh, he never bought me shit, he wasn't, he, <laughs> he never bought me nothing for Valentine's Day, I was paying for his gas money to get here, I was buying him food, well, you know, clearly he was using the girl. <laughs> So she was telling me how she was she was so depressed, crying, she was picking up hella shifts at McDonald's. Ain't nothing wrong with McDonald's. So I'm just I'm just telling y'all like it is, like that's what was said. Um But yeah, a part of me felt bad for her, but at the same time I did it because she confessed to me how she knew about me. She would watch my story. She she told me how she was always hurt when she like, why didn't you tell me? You was messing with my for how long and you knew we was together. Why didn't you let me know? long time ago so i could have been dropped to that more of the story is i never left it for real until probably months later don't ask me why i mean look i'll never do that again Ugh. she was just spilling the beans telling me everything and i went to him she even sent me video proof <laughs> i sent the, all that to him and he aligned as he like he was talking about oh she's crazy this and that but that's all it is, for real, for real. That's the story of how my ex cheated on me with a minor. Thinking about it now, like, I don't care now, but at the time, I was just really so distraught. Like, how the hell did you have time to cheat on me with somebody, let alone driving two hours away all the time to see this girl when we're always together? Like, that's why 
I ended up switching to night shift because it's like when I was gone all morning, you had too much time on your hands. You feel what I'm saying? But that don't, it really don't matter for real. Niggas is always just gonna find a way to cheat. So more of the story is, stay to yourself. Don't date no nigga. And if, an, if your nigga is trying to fuck on a minor, call, call the cops on his ass. Send him to jail and we'll press too. Get your little sister to do it. But yeah, y'all, that's the end of this story. I hope y'all enjoyed. I know it was a quick one. Just something to give y'all because I missed y'all. I know y'all missed me too. If y'all have any video suggestions down below, comment them. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on my social medias and we out this thing.